Hey everybody, okay, today I don't have a lot of time, but I wanna make a quick video that follows up from my last video. In my last video, I talked about shims. I talked about how you use them to boost function calls to libraries in transit and actually monitor them or change their behavior so that you can play around with programs that you didn't write, but you can still change how they behave to some extent. But as soon as you all start playing around with shims, one thing that people often run into is difficulty with the debugging process. Because you're not really sure how I can actually get my shim into a debugger. I mean, on the command line, we would just set up the shim by setting the environment variable like this before we run the program. But how do I do this with GDB? So for today's video, I'm going to assume that you're all comfortable with C, libraries, shims, and with GDB. And if you're not, I'm putting a bunch of links in the description for videos that I've made that could help out. This video will still be here. Go watch those and come back. Okay, so back to our question of how to debug a shim in GDB. Now, one thought would be to do the usual thing, set the variable before I invoke GDB, but this is problematic because this is telling the terminal to use the shim on GDB, which is probably not what we want, especially if the shim has problems. That could, one, produce a bunch of confusing output, and two, it might break GDB, depending on how broken the shim is and what function calls it's messing with. So today I thought I would show you how I do this. And it's really simple. You just get into GDB just like you normally would by typing GDB followed by the name of the program you want to debug. In this case, the program that we want to use with our shim. And as always, make sure you've compiled your program with dash G so that the compiler will put debug information into the program or library that you're making. Otherwise, your debugger is not going to be very helpful. And then once I'm in GDB, I want, what I want to do is I want to set my LD underscore preload environment variable. Now I do this by typing set followed by environment, followed by the variable name, in this case, LD preload, an equal sign and the value of the variable, in this case, the file name of the shim. Now the environment variable will be set for the program when I run it and the program I'm testing will use my shim. And this doesn't just work with LD preload, this can be used to set any environment variable you want to that you don't want to set for GDB as well. You just wait till you load GDB and you can set it at the beginning. So it's more general, it's not just for shims. And then we can set breakpoints in our shim, but you're going to notice one other thing that you may not have seen before, and that is this question it's going to ask you. What GDB is saying here is that it hasn't loaded the shim yet, and so it's not sure where this breakpoint should go. But it's seen stuff like this before, so it asks you if this code is in a library that's going to be loaded later. And that's, of course, exactly what's going to happen here. So I'm going to answer yes, and then when I start running the program, the shim library will be loaded, and then GDB will set the breakpoint and everything is going to be fine. And my breakpoint will stop when we call it in my rand function, and now I can step through it just like I would step through any other code I wrote. And so that's how you set environment variables in GDB. It's super useful when you're trying to debug a shim that you wrote, but it's also useful anytime you're writing a program that requires environment variables that you don't want to set for all the other programs in your terminal. And I guess we also learned something about setting breakpoints in libraries that haven't been loaded yet as well. But anyway, that's all the time I have for today. So I hope that's useful. And until next time, I will see you later.